Um, hello, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what the students of Dorset have been doing since that um, lovely speech from Stella. Um, I'm an 18 year old woman, so what I've seen in Gaza and the women and children bearing the brunt of this conflict has absolutely appalled me. That so much that me and other students, I don't know where he's gone, but he's in here somewhere, um, organised a walkout on International Women's Day where we march. <laughs> <laughs> where we, we walked out of our school and we marched to the Shire Hall Museum. Um, I chose this location because it is the trial of the last woman that was hung, executed in Dorset. So I thought it was quite relevant about the end of the executions and freedom for women, liberation for women. Um, so we walked out of our school we marched, we marched down the street, we marched through the town, and we met at the Shire Hall, we had some speakers. We, I would like to thank Tamsin from the Shire Hall for, for speaking for us. Um, and it was very powerful for me because seeing, seeing the response from young people across up and down the country, the encampments, especially in, in America, it's been absolutely astounding. Um, We've done walkouts, we've done fundraisers. I did the Stride for Palestinians, raising 600 pounds for MAP. We've done bake sales, and we've done, I think we've done about four walkouts from school now. I've, I've finished my a level, so I can't, I can't be back in the school now. But we're, I'm gonna pass down the inspiration to younger comrades to walk out and to do as much as we can. I think young people, are the most important people to mobilise in this generation because it's our it's our next it's our lives it's our it will be our future it will be our world that's being destroyed by climate change it will be our world that's being destroyed by the fascists in charge and I think that we I need to I would like to stress because obviously at, at a trade union festival like Joe was saying the relevance of us being here. I would like to stress the power of collective action and the power of workplace action because we've seen walkouts in our local hospital, we've seen um, correlations, we've, we've done die-ins which were the students and the health workers. We like to mobilise the people that can see the brunt of this conflict, that can see the damage to health workers, to, to um, teachers, to students, to children, to families. And I would like to personally thank every single student that took the time out of their studies to join us in solidarity. I would like to um, stress the importance of workplace action and to hopefully inspire people here to um, get involved in walkouts from their work, to divest, to ask for, to ask for boycotts. Um, and I want to end with saying that we are the people and we will never be silent. Hi everybody, my name's Sam, I'm from Dorset PSC and we've been involved in organising loads of events from Gridport to Dorchester to Weymouth and everywhere as Poppy has said. <laughs> and the destruction and escalation of Gaza is the, in the last few weeks has been devastating and anyone watching any of the, any of the TVs, you know, I moved from despair to anger as to what we can do. I think we have to look to where we are and we're here and therefore building the movement is one of the most important things. And I'd like to read just something that sums up the horrors of Gaza and that's all I really want to say about it is that a father from Palestine wrote, the doctor told me there's a small hope of my son getting better. I left the hospital and came back. I didn't find the hospital, the doctor or my son. And that, it just shows what it's like in Gaza. And I think we have to say, not in our name, not in our name, that the Tories are complicit in genocide. I think Starmer and Lamy are complicit in genocide, with Lamy rushing off to shake hands with Netanyahu. I think our government should be stopping arms sales to Israel now. Joe Biden, with Trump in the background, I've got, is still going to be selling arms. So we have to take our inspiration from students and people marching across the world. We need to build a mass movement here. 
we need to say that trade unionists, it's a, I think as Joe said, Palestine is a trade union issue and we have to raise it in our workplaces. If you've got really difficult workplaces, just hold selfies up, have a store, sell badges, try and get some things through the union. It's really important that we get more working class people in unions across the country. I used to be a retired NHS worker in, and a unison steward and I know how hard it is for health workers in, in Gaza, you know, we need to be supporting the health workers here and showing solidarity. And lastly, the wonderful movement that keeps going across the world is showing that there's two sides and people are realising it more. There's the one who attacks us and smashes our living standard, who wages war and hate the Palestinians. And then there's, this, uh, there's our side that say we, don't, we won't be divided by racism, we won't be divided by Islamophobia. We're going to the ones that resist, that will fight back and for our rights and stand up for Palestinians. And let's be clear on Palestine, this is not two equal sides. It's occupy and occupied, and I stand with the Palestinians' right to resist. Free Palestine! Yeah. Yeah. Rob Ferguson and Secretary of um, Dorset PSC. I want to actually start with the historic moment that we're all here for today. You know, the uh, deportation and repression of the toll puddle martyrs. Because let's not forget the repression of the trade union movement at its earliest point was also tied up with empire and militarism. Where were they deported to? To Australia uh, after, after all. Um, and uh, you cannot, just as you can't separate the repression of the trade union movement at the time of toll puddle uh, and militarism and empire, I think the same is true today. The arms supplies to Israel are part of a wider uh, militarism across the Middle East and go globally. And therefore I think the demand, the central demand that Palestine Solidarity Campaign is raising on the demonstrations and nationally to stop the arms supplies is absolutely critical and Yes, of course, it's welcome that the UNRWA funding is restored and so on, but that is not going to stop the slaughter in Gaza that we are witnessing today. And that means sanctions, boycott, divestment and so forth. And I have to ask myself, any government, anywhere, that allows the systematic destruction of healthcare in Gaza the genocidal destruction of hospitals, the assassination of uh, paramedics and health workers, I don't have any confidence that they're going to defend the NHS or the hospital system here, here in, uh, in this country. And I just want to finish with this. This meeting is, yes, of course, to discuss, to mobilise, um, but it's also, we want something concrete. We want to widen and deepen the trade union activist network across the country. We're going to have sign-up sheets at the door. If, um, you know, if, if you, we want to extend the email list from Palestine Solidarity Campaign to get workers and trade unionists onto that email list, to uh, get the information about the workplace days of action that are being regularly organized uh, and so forth. And I just want to finish with this. The question of the combination acts at the time of toll puddle is still with us today. I am disgusted and raging at the four and five year sentences for conspiracy yeah. against <laughs> us our pirates. That is a threat to us all. The first thing, which I think kind of answers, answers, answers the question of how do we take it further, um, is a challenge to every single one of you. And I include myself in that, because recently I started a new job, and I'm scared to talk about Palestine at work still. <coughs> so when, so in, the, in the tea room on Monday morning, when somebody asks you, how was your weekend? Say that you were here and talk about Palestine. Yeah. Number two, don't stop. Yeah, take a rest if you need to, but we don't stop until Palestine is free.
And number three is another quote from Queering the Map. We are here, we are queer, free Palestine. Woo!